okay in this video i am going to talk about the samsung nx1 successor and we are picking up samsung nx2 name as the successor of nx1 camera in the rest of the video we have already seen lot of news that samsung cancelled its camera division no further nx series or uh, low-end camera coming from Samsung we have read a lot of news but today we have seen a new set of specifications surfaced from the mirrorlessrumor.com which says the NX2 camera prototypes exist in the lab and they have such camera they have the camera with the latest Samsung Sinos 9810 SoC this particular system on chip will going to be used inside the samsung upcoming smartphones which is known as samsung s9 and s9 plus but we are sticking to the samsung nx1 su successor specifications here and the samsung nx1 successor nx2 is said to be used and the samsung nx1 successor nx2 is said to have that particular system on chip which is being used inside the future smartphone future samsung smartphone samsung s9 and s9 plus now let's talk about the samsung nx2 leaked specification in details according to the leaked specification the upcoming samsung nx1 camera will going to have a 30 megapixel aps-c sensor which is great it's a higher resolution sensor for APS-C flagship camera and if Samsung able to maintain low noise in high ISO then this particular camera will going to be on top. Now let's talk about the other specification of the camera. This camera have very high amount of processing power. Now due to that enormous amount of processing power the NX2 camera prototypes can capture 4K video at 120 frames per second. Dual pixel CMOS autofocusing sensor is being used, used inside the Samsung flagship smartphones. And in this prototype, according to the tipster, the Samsung NX2 is using the advanced level of the Samsung DPF technology and what they call is a tetrapixel technology. We don't have a deal set but we will going to explain it to you if we get any. Now let's move on. Now let's talk about the other set of specification associated with the Samsung NX2 camera. The camera can capture 15 frames per second with continuous autofocusing support 30 megapixel files. Now this is enormous amount of frame rate with 30 megapixel resolution when you are using a mechanical shutter but when you switch to electronic shutter or when you select higher frame rate the camera can capture 30 frames per second by maintaining the same high resolution. So this is an enormous amount of power that camera have you can see from the specification that it processes 30 megapixel large files at the rate of 30 frames per second. It will going to blow away all the camera, current camera if this camera comes out in next few months. Now if you if you read the specification more closely then this NX2 camera also records 5K at 30 FPS and 4K at 120 FPS. So this is a specification looks coming from the future from 5 years from now and this camera also supports eSIM so you can easily store your images after clicking it in the remote storages such as Dropbox and OneDrive. Now this camera also supports a lot of enhanced connectivity options you can see in the description box below for more details. So at the end what I want to say if the specification is true, if the specification of the NX2 camera is real then Nikon and Canon will going to have a very hard time in near future and Sony which is enjoying as the king of mirrorless camera with the high sale amount of the A7 series will going to have very tough competition from Samsung. So the in near future we can see that Samsung, Sony, Olympus and Panasonic are leading ahead with advanced technology in their camera. 
no one can go to Canon or Nikon if they have such advanced specification inside a camera with the list of confirmed set of lenses coming in future if they publish a roadmap that photographer can see the list of his lenses coming in near future. So Annex 2 specification is very promising if they are true then it will going to lead the mirrorless industry for next few years. Thank you for watching this video and do consider subscribing if you like our content and do share your thoughts in the comment box. Thank you.